fishing at a pay lake today. The first time I've ever been to a pay lake in 36 years. The last time I went to a pay lake, it was two times. I was 18 years old and had a horrible experience each time. i tell you about that at the end of this video. Today I'm at a pay lake. It's not too far from home. It's called Wormies. At first sight, it's quite pretty. It's very beautiful. You know, when you first come upon it, they got benches. You could do some camping down here. You can even burn some fires. Burn some fires, is that even a word? You can even have a fire. It's not bad. But when we got here, I also found a bunch of dead fish, which is not saying anything about the pay lake because do people do fish overnight? It being Sunday, it costs us 10 bucks a piece to get in. On the weekends, it's a little more expensive. So, we only been fishing 15 minutes. Not sure how we feel. And today, the wind is horrible. Yeah. I haven't been here 30 minutes, and my wife is fishing like me. Hey, I caught a tree. She done got her line stuck in a tree. And we haven't been here 15 minutes. You all right? Well, it looks like it's wanting to get ready to rain. Let me show you. I don't know if that's the storm cloud moving over or not. But so far, no action. Which doesn't mean much because it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay, we're sitting here and let me show you something. Right there, a big gigantic fish jumped out of the water. Oh my gosh. It was huge. I'm in the car. We're back in the car. We ain't even been here 30 minutes. The wife caught her uh, line in the tree. She's fishing like me. And it came a downpour. So what we did was, since we're close, roll this window up. Since we're very close where we're fishing at, we went ahead and left the fishing poles on the little bench there, put our chairs underneath the tree there, and we're gonna sit in the car like a bunch of wimps and wait till this rain stops. Then we're gonna fish again. Yeah. One other good thing, our car is very close to where we're fishing, so that's a plus. And just like that, we're back at it again. What you just pull out of my hair, my head? Oh, no, some dirt. Oh, I had dirt on my head, evidently. I almost said what you pull out of my hair, but I forgot I'm bald. And just like that, we're back at it again. But what I was trying to tell you earlier, right in front of me, a big, huge fist jumped out of the water. That's always exciting to see something like that. I just had the biggest damn fish ever hooked in my entire life. My pole was not strong enough to get him. He literally was ripping my pole out of my hand. My pole was cracking. Obviously, it broke my line, broke everything I had, and this thing was monster big. So, I was sitting here thinking, well, shoot, this place ain't doing so well. Uh-huh, I'm wrong. My pool was nowhere near a match for this fish. Maybe it literally, huh? Maybe I shouldn't have went and looked around. No, because he, he hit me all at once. I have no idea what kind it was, but it was big enough to make my pool, you could hear it cracking. Hold well, on, it's also tangled. Yeah, it's all tangled up. Oh my God, I got him. Hold the pool for a second. I got the fish, believe it or not. See this metal pipe? go about maybe three feet. I got the fish right there. And you know, I'm wondering if I, my string might have got it wrapped around, the, I don't know. Cause that's where he broke it. It's the biggest damn fish I've ever hooked in my life. I'm gonna go back out there again. And honestly, I if I hook this again, I don't know if my pull's strong enough to get it in. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. Guys, I've been to a lot of places fishing. You know this, you've seen the videos. Never hooked something that big before, ever. Let me get set up again. If I hook a fish that size again, I know what I need to do. Since I don't have the fishing pole for it and my line ain't strong enough, I let it wear itself down. This, I tried to do a little bit, but I could have done it better. So get ready to go out there again. Guys, I'm, I was sitting here, I was like, ah, this place is iffy. We ain't gonna get enough, it happened like that. Oh my lord, that was awesome. Well, you know there's big fish in here. That's been proven already. But, I tell you, 
It's, I haven't made my mind up yet. I do like the fact I hooked the biggest fish I've ever hooked in my life. But I don't like the fact it got away. Uh, does this mean I'm going to come back? I don't know. I do like it down here so far. It's very peaceful. Alright guys, we're going to give it about an hour. And I report back. Okay, I just had to use the facilities. Which is a porta potty. It's what you might expect. But... I don't have to do my business anymore, so that's on the premises. So that's a plus. That way I didn't have to visit a a weeded area, which I've done that before. <laughs> Alright guys, we're still fishing and uh, yeah, we was going to, my wife can't use bobber right now, it's too windy for that. So we're both fishing bottom. Now I'm hoping I get another chance at that big fish. One thing in my favor. There's a train track right across there. That's awesome. I'm trying to reel in my line. Like I started to say, we got a train track right over there. Uh, sorry guys, but my pole holder came out of the ground on me. I love it. You guys know how much I love my trains. Okay, this place from what I can tell does have bonuses. It's got the train, that's a personal bonus. It has a bathroom on the premises, that's a bonus. And you don't have to walk far from your car, that's a bonus. But I only had the one fish on. Even though it was a monster that broke my line, I haven't had no other bites. Neither has my wife. So, whatever you might want to make, whatever you want to make out of that, I don't know. But we're not done yet. We are far from being done. We're gonna give this the best shot we can. Hell, we pay 20 bucks, 10 bucks a piece. So you bet your butt we're gonna be here for a little bit. There's my wife way over on the other side of the lake doing what she does best taking pictures <laughs> sometimes I think she comes fishing with me just to take the pictures now she's going behind the tree and she's way over there Okay, uh, I'm going to give my thoughts. I've been here for about mm, two and a half hours. I haven't got a single bite except that one big, huge monster's bite I had. I hooked and it broke everything. I haven't got a single bite. But you know, that doesn't mean much because the time of the day and it, it could just, it, it could be a lot of variables, you know. But this place sure is pretty. I mean, oh my gosh, it is breathtaking. You know, this is one of the benefits to it, though. I'm not going to show everything because there's kids on that end, but wow. And here's where we're set up, right here, as you can see. You got these little benches all around through here, you know. It goes all the way down. Let me get up over this way. It goes all the way down and around, so... We ever did come back we'll probably go down that side it's like a little private area down in there we should have went there today huh and right behind me is where i parked my car yeah you got a little parking area here you got one up that way which i'm not going to show you and above that way is one of the main roads you do hear the traffic every now and then but it's not so bad it's not so bad at all uh, i'm just I don't know, like I said, uh, maybe they're not biting because it's the time of day, I don't know. But, I can't, okay, I can't go by me hooking that big fish. I just can't go by that, but that was a lot of fun, oh my gosh. But all it is is a fish story because I didn't catch it. So, that's all it is is the fish story. Alright guys, we'll give it another hour and see what happens. I think I'm thirsty. 
Okay, no bites so far, but the people next to us, they got little kids, and they, they're the only ones catching them. They're catching little fish by like that on bobbers, but they're catching the little ones. But so far, we haven't even had a single bite. We had the mod, you know, you know about the one that broke my line, the big monster, but like I said, I can't really say what that was because I didn't catch it. But so far, nothing. Uh, we're sitting here making plans if we ever come back. You are allowed to camp here, but we're going to find out more about that when we leave. We're going to ask questions. Because if we ever did come back, it wouldn't be a bad idea to camp over on the other side of the lake. Just saying. Alright guys, I'm going to just fish some more. Or should I say sit here some more? And maybe I get lucky. Maybe my wife get lucky. Maybe we both get lucky. Okay, it's been another hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know. I lost track. Talking to one of the guys fishing over next to us. He's got some big, nice poles. He was saying this place holds some monster-sized fish. And the best time to come down here is nighttime. It's nice, but I haven't had a single bite except that one. That's it. Angie hasn't had a bite at all. So, I can't rightfully say yet if it's worth the 10 bucks a piece. But I don't know. Now, if you come on the weekends, I would imagine it's seriously crowded. If you come on the weekdays, maybe not so bad. Okay, we decided to give it 30 more minutes and we're out of here. Now I'll give you my full report what I think, at least for this time fishing. Okay, so for it being a pay lake and for what it looks like, it does have a bathroom on the premises. It's quite beautiful. I say it is worth 10 bucks if you could pick the right time to come and fish. Obviously, the time we come today is not the right time. Without doubt, there's monster fish here. I mean, look at the one I hooked earlier, even though it broke my line, and pretty much almost it, well, I think it did slightly damage my pole. Without doubt, there is monster-sized fish. So yeah, it's worth the money we paid. It's just we picked the wrong time of the day to come. Will we return? Yes. But when we do, it's gonna be on a weekday, and it's gonna be very early morning. So guys, this place is called Wormies. It's not too far from home. It's somewhat local. And yeah, it's definitely nice. It's worth the money to pay, and I like it. Now, does this put it high up on my charts? Don't know yet. Only fished it once and didn't have much luck except that one fish that got away. So I have to fish it again to let you know what I think. At the end of the day, it's just an adventure. It's making memories with your loved ones. So it doesn't matter where you're at because you enjoy the company you keep. You enjoy being out in the beauty. And something to remind you is the horribleness that's going on in the world with this virus. There's still God's creation. That's what it boils down to. It's not really so much a catch in the fish. It's the fun you have trying. So guys, if you're in my neck of the woods, you want to fish wormies even though it's a pay lake. I like it so far, but I had to fish here again to give a better, uh, give a better, mm, if it if it works or not. But without doubt, and Sam, listen to this now, without doubt, it has monster fish. Without doubt. Until next time, guys. Come on, let's get out of here. Sorry about the wind today. Ain't much I can do about that. We'll see you tomorrow.